What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is 101 facts about the USA. Strap in, it is a 24 minute video and we act a waffle, don't we? Yeah. And I've just realised you're a little bit off the screen. <laughs> Do you want to come in a little bit? Yeah. So everyone says he cut, I cut him off. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. The other one sat all the way over there. There we go. I think if we move you a little yeah, bit. I think it's the, I think it's the camera. My chair's fine. There we go. Happy days. I'm back. A little bit of troubleshooting mid-video. <laughs> smash that like button if you enjoy this kind of content, guys. Smash that like button. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Pretty much, uh, these are straightforward, quick facts at you. Some of them would have heard. Some of them yeah. we won't have. Let's get straight into it. Okay. 101 facts about the USA. What we got? Well, howdy, mother factors, and welcome y'all to 101 facts. I'm Sam, and I'm here to talk to you today about a place that apparently Bruce Springsteen was born in, Miley Cyrus is having a party in, and, as a great puppet once sang, is coming along to save the mother day, yeah. No, it's not Pizza Hut. I'm talking the USA. But how much does the average American eat? What links bottled water and pornography in the States? Wait, what? Why does it always <laughs> rain on me? Two out of three of those questions are about to be answered, so cover yourself in red, white, and blue paint, run into your nearest bed bath and beyond, and scream about how much you love freedom. He's All definitely up for it, isn't it? Captain America. Very up for it. This is 101 facts about the USA. Number one. Because it's so bloody big, the US is divided into 50 states, all yep. of which are united. See what they did there? The smallest is Rhode Island, which is 1,545 square miles, and the largest is Alaska, with over 663,000 square miles. Number two. Just two and a half million red, white, and blue people lived in the USA in 1776. Okay. Number three. But today, 318 million star-spangled patriots a lot of people, live in the US. Wow. And that is even more. I think it's, it's definitely over 320, mm. 100% okay. um, at the moment. I, I, I don't know the exact people. number, but it's even more. That's a lot of people. It is. To say England has roughly, I'd say, between 60, 15, 60 million. Mm. So, and they're talking 300 million. It's, it's a big difference, isn't it? Big, big difference. Oof. Number four. At least 189 of these citizens are named LOL, and apparently about four are named Sex. <laughs> Mind you, I suppose it makes sense to name your kids after where they came from. Number five. <laughs> there is no official language in the US, but English is the most commonly spoken. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Number six. One American consumes as many resources as 32 Kenyans. Wow. Number seven. That's a pretty mental wow. stat, isn't it? Wow. 40% of births in the US come from women. Wait, what? Wait, wait what? Uh, eh? Did you say 40%? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's about to correct himself, I'm pretty sure. births in Kenyans. Number seven. 40% of births in the US come from women. What the... Oh, 40% of births in the US come from unmarried women. There we right. go. I'm with you now. <laughs> Number That's quite eight. High. Yeah, yeah, it is. In fact, four percent of women in the US have a bun in the oven right now. How many? Well, baby four, wise, I think. anyway. Four percent. Number That's nine. Lot of people. <laughs> I don't know. Well, but then you think about there's one percent of, of most of them because some of them are going to be men. So wait, what? Is this four percent of oh women? Is it women? I think you said yeah, four percent oh, of women. Oh, yeah. for his people. So I guess if you went a fifty-fifty split, one fifty, one fifty. Obviously, it's not that, but let's just say that. Four percent of women—that's not a lot of women. Yeah, but one point five million is one percent. Uh, so that's three million. Four point five. That's six million people right now in America pregnant. pregnant. Mm -hmm. It may not be a lot compared to one hundred fifty million yeah. women, but it's still a lot of women. Mm. It's still a lot of women. A lot of babies being born. Yeah, definitely. Every tweet an American sends is archived by the Library of Congress. So your boring That's pretty mad. 140 character review of the latest fire hydrants is actually official government record. Number 10. Speaking of the bubonic plague, which we weren't, there are worryingly still cases of the bubonic plague reported in the US every year. Number 11. There are 100 divorces every hour in the US. 100 every Maybe hour? Maybe some of that is to do with giving your partner bubonic plague by accident. I'm just trying to connect <laughs> that the dots. That is mental. That's crazy. Number every hour. 12. 
You're in the middle Despite of the night. Despite the country being so large. I guess time zones are that mad. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? One just, you might wake up at midnight and just think, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's done. done. <laughs> 100 every hour. That's that is a that is lot a, of divorces. Uh, that is ridiculous. And the population quite large too. 47% of US soil is actually unoccupied and doesn't have anybody registered as living there. Number 13. Just before any of you go getting yourself into any trouble, in America you have to be 16 to drive a car, 18 yep. to vote and own a gun, and 21 to buy alcohol. Number yeah, 14. Yeah, the alcohol one's mental, I isn't find it? it? The so bear is the I find it so crazy that you can't drink alcohol till you're 21, but you can drive a car and you can shoot a gun. Like it's mental. That, it is mental, isn't it? I, I just, it, yeah, it just, I don't even know. I don't have a comment. <laughs> like, I don't it have a comment. No it just, sense. just makes zero sense. Uh, I am completely just with you. Doesn't, it just don't get it. It's like, what? <laughs> the official state animal of California, but none have been seen there since 1922. It's a bit like that here in the UK too. Wales's flag has a dragon on it, and we haven't seen any of those for bloody ages. I saw one last week. Number 15. <laughs> there are three towns in the US that have the name Santa Claus. It must be so depressing there when it's not Christmas time. Number 16. The states love their cars. In fact, there are 845 motor vehicles for every thousand people. Number 17. Nearly a car person. Montana mm. loves its bovine breast milk. In fact, Montana has three times as many cows as it does people. Wow. <laughs> it should be called Moon Tanner. <laughs> that was bad. That was so bad. Um, oh, God, I hate I'm sorry. being British right now. Please come back. <laughs> Number 18. The US is the fourth largest country in the world by land area and the third by population beaten by those pesky guys in India and China. Number 19. There have been 28 official versions of the US flag. And here are some examples of them right now before your very eyes. <laughs> that was definitely... That was, that, I feel like that was that, not one. Flag. And here are some examples of them right now. That was definitely <laughs> not one. <laughs> By the way, I think, I think Geography King has a video of all the different flags. Mm. So maybe we should do a reaction to that yeah. to learn them, because I, I don't know all the different no. ones as well. Um, so let us know in the comments if you want to see that. Now, before your very eyes. Okay, one of those I might have made up, but I'm not going to tell you which one. <laughs> Number 20. The current 50-star American flag was designed by a 17-year-old as a school project in 1958. Wow. He only got a B-minus for the project. Number 21. Of the six flags planted on the moon by astronauts from the US, just five of them are still standing. I wonder what happened to the other one. Number 22. Do we not know? Do, do we not know what happened we to the other one? We don't know what happened. Is it over or has it disappeared? Hmm, no idea. Maybe aliens took it. Oh... <laughs> I'm gonna. Some people are gonna love that if they're gonna jump on it, gonna and then it. some people are just gonna hate that. <laughs> yeah. The lowest temperature ever recorded Me. in the U.S. was at Prospect Creek in Alaska in January 1971. The temperature was minus 80 Fahrenheit, which is probably enough to turn your nipples into glass cutters. <laughs> Number 23. The hottest temperature ever recorded in the US was in the intimidatingly named Death Valley, California, in July 1913. Hmm. It measured 134 Fahrenheit. It's ridiculous. Which is probably enough to produce a bathtub's worth of midriff sweat. Ew. Number That's pretty grim, isn't it? <laughs> for 24. Jennifer Lawrence was made in the US. And for that, I for one will be eternally grateful. Number 25. But that's a fact. <laughs> Most of the world's tornadoes occur in the Midwest region of the US, known as Tornado Alley. I wonder how it got its name. Number 26. Russia and America seem like they're bloody ages away, but at an area called the Bering Strait, they're We've actually about less this, than yeah. kilometers apart. Number 27. The Mississippi and Missouri rivers. Oh, I'm so glad I don't have a lisp. Combined to form the longest river system in the US and the fourth longest in the entire world. Number 28. There's enough water in Lake Superior to cover the entire landmass of North and South America in one foot of liquid. Wow. Which is amazing, but let's not do that. Yeah, it sounds devastating. It would devastating, be quite yeah. irritating for everybody. Although, I suppose it'd be a nice break for firefighters. Number 29. <laughs> 
Every movie ever's establishing shot's best friend, the Statue of Liberty, was a rather large Beating gift from France in 1884. That must have taken a lot of wrapping paper. Number 3 0. -oh. The seven rays on the crown of the Statue of Liberty represent the seven continents of the world. Egypt and measure up to nine Wait, continents. <laughs> I didn't actually see that. What was it? Represent the seven continents. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Each of them measure up to nine feet in length and weigh as much as 150 pounds. We've been in yeah, there. Yeah, we've been right up there. But I didn't right know it was there. a continent of the spikes. Did you? No. There you go. I didn't know that. I know. We've learned something. That's but awesome. we've been in there. But we have been in there. Literally right there. We was in there, weren't we? Like, we were looking out the window. And we were stood like right here. And then he, that guy right there took a picture of us stood mm -hmm. like right here. <laughs> I hope you can see my mouse on screen. <laughs> Number 31. Kentucky not only has some really very tasty chicken going for it, but it also has the largest cave system in the world. That's so With random. over 200 miles of oh. cavey goodness. That I wonder how many zoo bats mm. you find in there. Creepy though. Creepy, yeah. Number 32. There are small towns in Michigan and California called Hell. People keep telling me to go there. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Number 33. The original name for the city of Atlanta was Terminus. It's a shame they changed it, really. I hear Terminus so is random. you is to die for. Let us know Number why they changed it. Statistically speaking, the deadliest job in all of America is President. Of the 44 men who have held the post, four have been assassinated while in office. Number 35. Virginia has birthed out more presidents than any other state, which is ironic, really, when you think about its name. Number 36. The first president of the United States himself, George Washington, used to grow hemp. Smoke weed every day. That is just so... That's just a Number random fact. How do you know that? Well, I imagine yeah. it potentially was documented very... That's mm. like saying, how do you know anything? Yeah, but... <laughs> Someone must have documented it at some point, I guess, but it is very Bizarre. random, isn't it? Donald Ford was the only man to be both president and vice president, but wasn't elected to either post. In American politics, I mean. I was both of the 101 Facts fan club for a while because there weren't enough people to vote. <clears throat> Number 38. George Washington initially refused to accept his salary while president, but eventually went back on his word and said, OK, then. Probably not in that voice, though. It was $25,000 a year. Number 39. Which, but to be Five. fair, I imagine back then that was a lot of money. Yeah. I imagine that was loads and loads of money. Yeah. Enough, Washington was still also is. one of the wealthiest Oh, yeah, no, of all. don't be wrong, it still is a year, but in the terms of the economics... I imagine the president oh, a gets... a year? A year, not a... Oh, oh good to say, oh, a month! month oh, huh? You're absolutely loaded! <laughs> Sign me up to that, but it was a year. So, a president is That's getting like a more... normal paying... It's like an a normal... average, average working-class pay, yeah. really, isn't it? So Nowadays. Nowadays, yeah. Time ...with assets worth more than $500 million. I wonder how he got that. <laughs> Number 40. Martin Van Buren was the first president to be born an American citizen. All previous presidents were born British subjects. Oh, wow. Number 41. Wow. Thomas Jefferson invented the swivel chair. So we have Jefferson to thank for the hours hey. of fun procrastinating in office. Hey, there you go. Do, Jeff. do a little swivel. Thanks, Jeffy. I Jefferson. can do a little swivel that way. That's all we can do, isn't it? We're a bit tight in here. <laughs> Thanks for making our chair. Yeah, we appreciate it, man. We appreciate it. <laughs> Until we spin too much and are a bit sick. The meaning of life. Speaking of sick, George Bush inspired a word in Japanese. Bushasuru means literally to do the bush thing. It's <laughs> used when someone publicly vomits, as Bush did all over the Japanese Prime Minister in 1992. What? Number That's 43. Mental. The Founding Fathers penned the first few drafts of the Declaration of Independence on hemp paper. What is it with these guys in hemp? <laughs> Number 44. The Liberty Bell hasn't been heard since George Washington's birthday in 1846. Number 45. The bell was first rung on July the 8th, 1776 to celebrate the first public reading of the Declaration of Independence. 
Nobody knows when the bell first cracked, although some argue that it was during the Revolutionary War of 1824. That'd make sense. Number 46. You know, I've heard a lot about that bell, though, and it still is a statue today, and that crack is still there. Wow. Um, it just obviously doesn't ring game anymore, it's got that crack, and you don't want to fix it because it's a piece of history. Mm -hmm. But in a war, I guess it does make sense yeah. that there's bullets flying everywhere and stuff, I imagine. Anyway, back to the important stuff. 100 acres of pizza are served in the US every day. 100 acres? Number 47. Every second, Americans what? collectively eat oh, 100 that, that, pounds you? of chocolate. Let the chocolate fans. <laughs> wait, sorry, I mean $100 of chocolate. Oh no, wait, I was right the first time. God, these conversions are so confusing. <laughs> Number 48. One in three Americans are obese. I mean, that's it's probably the same over the world, though, though, isn't it? Mm. It's getting worse at the moment all Number over the world. Number 49. Eight billion chickens are consumed in the US each year. By those Eight one in three billion. in the last facts, probably. Number 50. An average person in the US eats 35 tonnes of food in a lifetime. <laughs> I don't the know if that's a lot or not. We all understand. Perfect. That's about 380. Well, no, sorry. 35 tonnes is a lot of food. In a lifetime? I imagine it probably. I guess I, I don't know how much they've I've done this. We need to know how much everyone else does it. If it to know if it's a lot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like we need to things compare. to compare with because I it's a lot of food. Yeah, but if but someone, in a lifetime. But if we're eating like thirty two, it's not that. But if yeah, we're eating twenty five, like, that's I, a lot. Of food. I might live to like one hundred and fifty, and I might eat fucking fifty. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. Do you think I'm gonna yeah. live to one hundred and fifty? One hundred and fifty. No, 140. <laughs> 140, yeah, yeah, the realistic target, 140. <laughs> Hugh Jackman's. Number 51. The average supermarket in the US wastes around 3,000 pounds of food each year. Oh. That's about 48,000 donuts worth. Or, to put it in perspective that we all understand, 15 Hugh Jackman's. <laughs> Number 52. There are more TVs in the US than there are people in the UK. Wow. So, if you've got a spare one lying around, then please lend it to us. Yeah, we'll have one if I you want. I smashed mine in anger at the finale of Downton Abbey. <laughs> Number 53. The US is known as the land of Hollywood. The movies that we all know and love and occasionally just tolerate. But perhaps, if you'd like, we could talk about that place another time. Number 54. In fact, the very first motion picture theatre opened in LA in 1902. I wonder if the popcorn was still as overwhelmingly expensive. <laughs> it's good though. Number 55. Yeah. The average is. American spends more than 10 hours a day using an electronic device. If you're watching this right now, America, congratulations. You have about nine and a half hours left. <laughs> Number 56. The most watched television event in the US is the Super Bowl. No, no, the sports one. Thank you. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Number 57. If you're an NFL football player and you want a little bit more coverage on telly, then stop trying to score and stuff like that and have a little fall down. On average, injured players in televised NFL games get six more seconds of camera time than celebrating players. Mm. Number I mean, 58. Faking an injury to go off just to get six more seconds. It's not really, it doesn't really seem worth is six it, seconds. Is, is, is it worth it? <laughs> I suppose, you know, any publicity is good publicity. Yeah, about but six seconds. It's not much, is showing it? Showing that you're down. Three, like, what, it's like, like falling over every five minutes just for six seconds on TV. Yeah, you have a good game on like Sunday or something. You go into work on Monday, you're like, oh, who cares about them scoring the winning yeah. touchdown? I don't care about your celebrations. Got six seconds on TV on my Remember, own. oh no, I won't even go with him. Uh, Remember when. A random player, Tom Brady, was down for six seconds. Oh my god, that was a brilliant highlight. The best <laughs> yeah. highlight. Of the game. Never mind him celebrating. <laughs> there are 3.2 million pom pom toting cheerleaders in the US, 18.7% of which are male. In fact, Ooh. Samuel L. Jackson was once one of that 18. Oh wow. I just wish we had that at school. Number 59. What, just like that kind of whole. Just like the whole cheerleaders for like football games. And yeah, yeah. It just seems like a good club to get into i can manage it i suppose the reason is is because school sports it's just not as big aren't popular where you need cheerleaders to entertain a crowd because it's really a mm. crowd it's just like you go to it and then everyone's jealous that you go to it but no one goes to watch you no yeah. <laughs> pretty much yeah. i think <laughs> in the u.s 78 billion dollars is spent on tv ads per year per year that's insane amount. in my mm. opinion 
all adverts should just be a variation upon the Montgomery Flea Market ad. <laughs> Number 60. The average viewer watches 175 hours of television a month. Wow. Now that's pretty much a week per month glued to a screen. Wow. Or, to put it in a perspective that we all understand, about 14 Hugh Jackmans. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't get the comparison. <laughs> Number 61. <laughs> The average young American will spend 10,000 hours playing video games before the age of 21. That's when crazy. When they're legally allowed to go and get a gun and go drinking themselves in real life as opposed to just pretending to do it on a PlayStation. Number 62. Somewhat scarily, the US and its government are among the most powerful in the world. In fact, the US was the first country to develop nuclear weapons and is now estimated to have over 7,000 of the bloody things. Scary, um, oh wow. I'm just going to go scary. and fall out as a practice for the future. <laughs> <laughs> Number 63. In 1962, for instance, the US tested a hydrogen bomb in space that was 100 times more powerful than Hiroshima. God, that big an explosion in space. No wonder aliens are trying to attack New York and Los Angeles all the time. <laughs> Nintendo that is mental 64. Though, isn't it? It's ridiculous. In World War II, the US and New Zealand secretly tested 3,700 tsunami bombs designed to destroy coastal cities. Wow, mm. how do you secretly test a bomb? I was going to say. Yeah, like, show people going to know if you're doing it or not. Like, so that powerful to destroy a coastal city. How are you secretly how doing you, it? How are you going to hide it? Obviously, we didn't hide it very well. No, clearly. <laughs> everyone knows about it now. Yeah, everyone knows about it. They did not hide that yeah, well. Yeah, but it's crazy. In the 1920s and early 30s, there was a prohibition on alcohol, meaning its sale and consumption was a big no-no. Unbelievably, the US government actually poisoned alcohol during this time to deter drinking, killing over yeah. 10,000 people. See, that is mental, but you don't know much about the prohibition, do you? No. So maybe we should check out, we'll check out the oversimplified. I have seen it, but it's definitely worth mm -hmm. it because it is a pretty mad story, to be fair. Yeah. As you can tell by, yeah, by, definitely. by a little description. <laughs> Number 66. Apparently, New York doesn't actually taste like New York cheesecake. Oh. Number Wait, 67. What? New York doesn't. 27% <laughs> of Americans don't believe the moon landings actually happened at all. Number 68. I see. Dusty old I mean, it's not that I don't believe they happened. Oh, here we go. No, it's not that. It's not that. It's just I can't get my head around the fact that somebody actually went on the moon. Yeah, it's pretty mental, isn't like, it? Like, it's not that I don't believe it, because I'm sure they did. I don't have a... Don't, I it don't just have hurts a your head to think about it. it. Just, <laughs> when I think about it deep, and my mind does that, it goes deep into things, and I'm just like, bro, how's someone on the moon, though? <laughs> I know how's someone been up there on that moon? I, I It just... I can't. It makes my head go... <laughs> It's too much for my little brain. John Adams and Thomas Jefferson had a bet on who would die first. They both died on July the 4th, 1826. Oh, that's, that's awkward. Nobody that is weird. What, that is weird. what other chances are that? Weird. In the US, the naughty video pornography industry is worth it's over $8 60, billion, dollars, which is the same amount as the bottled water industry. Got it. So that's what the comparison. The two and, hey, presto, profit. Number 70. According to Forbes, if you have $10 in your pocket and no debts, you're wealthier than 25% of all Americans. Wow. wow. That is well, because apparently Americans, as a na America as a nation, tends to have a lot more debt. Okay. A, lo a lot of debt compared to other countries. I didn't know that. I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I've I, read that. To be fair, I think the way a lot of people go, I think a lot of people have debt nowadays yeah. anyway. But I guess, unfortunately, that just shows but the way of life. debt could be if you're anything, yeah. It doesn't have to be like... Oh, Bad right. debt could be just mortgages to count, doesn't it? I, so guess, it I guess potentially, yeah. Um, it depends what you define as debt, like doesn't it? Because it's. I guess if you go credit card, it is unfortunately that if you didn't have one of them, you're rich for a lot of people, which, yeah, which is unfortunately quite uh, and sad. And I guess. Hey, I'm rich. Well, actually, don't have a credit card. I, have a credit card. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say rich. We're hanging on for payday. <laughs> I would not yeah, say rich. Yeah, but I got, I got no. I got a credit. I've not got a credit card. You haven't got a credit card. You haven't technically got the debt. You pay for your phone, but you haven't technically got debt. <laughs> <laughs> one in eight American workers has been employed by McDonald's at some point, and I bet McDonald's are loving it. Nothing wrong. Oh, Nothing wrong. Doesn't matter. Sorry, yes. yeah, I'm loving it. That was a, I enjoyed that. He's making me just. 
cringe at being British. <laughs> but it's not how British people are, by the way. They're not as cringy. I think it's like ninety percent of British people, to be fair. <laughs> but nothing wrong with working at McDonald's. Get no, a lot of money. It's a good job. Like no, to get free meal. Seventy-two. <laughs> I don't know if you do. No, you do. All in England. Well, that would be required well, England, to sustain the levels of consumption of the US, and apparently we only have one of them. <laughs> I don't like that math. Number seventy-three. About 20 million Americans live in mobile homes. Wow. Wow. Number 74. That's mental, isn't it? That's crazy. According to those guys in the government, it costs $245,000 to raise a child before college. Guess that depends on how much you spoil them. Yeah. <laughs> Number 75. The US spends more money per person on healthcare than any other developed country. That makes but sense. But its life expectancy mm. is still below average. Wow. No private healthcare, Number is Number 76. In case there's any gold diggers watching, the state with the most millionaires per capita is Maryland. Number mm. 77. But he said Maryland, so we're not having that. We've got to call him out. It's not Maryland. We get called out all the time. Mm. Let him know in the comments, guys. <laughs> Let him know. Maryland. Yeah. Uh, did I get it right? Uh, yeah. I think I nailed it. Let, yeah. uh, you go for pronunciation? No, in the moment, I mean, they're good books. No, you got to go for it. Maryland. Maryland. Let us know who got Maryland. it right. He definitely didn't. I may have, and you may have. Let us know in the comments. I'll take that, I'll take that <laughs> it costs the US government 1.8 cents to mint a penny and 9.4 cents to mint a nickel. It'll take Wait, a lot what? Of in the background, that's definitely the Queen. Back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, no, I didn't, mean, I didn't mean them. Didn't mean them. Thank you. Number 78. Hey, gold diggers, listen up again. In more than half of all US states, the highest paid public employees are sports coaches. Wow. Number 79. If Bill Gates gave every penny of his fortune to the US government, it would only cover the US budget deficit for about 15 days. What? Number eight. That's a lot of money. It took That's from the founding of, of the nation until 1981 <laughs> for the US national debt to cross the rather high mark of $1 trillion. Today, the national debt is well over $19 trillion, and it goes up more than a trillion dollars every single year. I don't even want to know how many Hugh Jackmans that is. <laughs> Number 81. The average US worker stays at each of their jobs for 4.4 years. Okay. So if you're working in Taco Bell and you're fed up with your manager Sandra's BS, then you're statistically Sandra. likely to only stay there for a little bit longer. Number 82. The US has 115,000 janitors, 83,000 bartenders, and 323,000 restaurant servers with bachelor's degrees. Wow. Oh, that makes okay. 54%. With the, I was going to say, I was like, only 83,000 bartenders. Mm. I was like, surely there's with at least degrees. millions. With, uh, but again, you may get a bachelor degree, but you've got to make your money somehow while you're looking so far. You've yeah, got... and also you may do a degree and not want to do yeah. what you did in your Some degree. people are happy bartending. If you enjoy it, you enjoy yeah. it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fair play. Fair. If you're enjoying your life, fair play, guys. Percent of college graduates either underemployed or unemployed. But check that last fact and you'll realise it won't be for very long. So don't worry. Keep believing and keep achieving. Number 83. The cost of college in the US has gone up 500% since 1985. 500%. That's just inflation, man. And that doesn't even cover the cost of carpet cleaning after sorority parties. <laughs> Number 84. According to a study conducted by economists Carl Benedict Frey and Michael Osborne, 47% of the jobs in the US could be lost to computers, robots, and other forms of technology. Have they never seen Terminator? Taken over. It doesn't mm. end well. And oh god, it's happening to me already. <laughs> oh wait, I live in the UK. Whew. Number 85. Anyway, Christmas. Who oh, doesn't Christmas. love Christmas, eh? Well, apparently the US in its olden days, as it was okay, illegal in the US until say. 1836, as it was considered an ancient pagan holiday. Number 86. It transpires, though, that apparently Americans do love Christmas, as the best-selling single of all time there is Bing Crosby's White Christmas, mm. selling 25 million song, copies. Song. Number 87. America also loves The Wind, apparently, as the best-selling movie of all time ever over there is Gone with the Wind. Wow. <laughs> taking $1.7 billion in adjusted gross. So we like The Wind because of that. Number yeah. 88. <laughs> According to the Recording Industry Association of America, the best-selling artists in the whole of the country are those Beatle fellas? Never heard of them. Number 89. 
In 1893, an amendment was proposed to rename the United States of America into the United States of the Earth. USC doesn't really have the same kind of ring. Definitely to it, doesn't, does it? No. Hey, wait a minute, that's already a word. I was going to say, I was, like, I was like Acronym a ring of on. use to it. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. Number 90. In 1943, sliced bread was banned to conserve supplies during World War II. Number 91. In America, GPS is owned and controlled by the government. They can switch it off anytime they want. Wow. For instance, when you're trying to meet an old college buddy for a spa and fried chicken day. <laughs> that can be your excuse next time you don't want to go to one of those. You're welcome. <laughs> Number 92. Salt Lake City has a law against carrying an unwrapped ukulele on the street. That is so random. So, uh, Why, though? You, you watch out for that. Number 93. Eating on a sea turtle is also a third degree felony. <laughs> Why would you I do think that? So. Oh, sitting on a sea turtle is a third degree felony. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. But but still, why would you sit on one? You, sit on one? you wouldn't just go to a random person and sit on one, would you? Why would you just sit on a sea turtle, though? It's just so random. Should you go to Tim RC and then just sit on it? Uh, yeah. Why? Maybe some people like sitting on them. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Number 94. The US puts a higher percentage of its population in prison than any other nation on Earth does. Wow. They just cannot stop sitting on sea turtles, can they? <laughs> Number 95. The army owns around 24,000 square miles of land. If the army were a state, it probably wouldn't be much fun. But it would also be the 42nd largest state in the US. Oh, wow. Number 96. Speaking of the US military, they have a secret, near-silent type of Velcro which reduces the ripping noise by over 95%. Those geniuses! If they can adapt those onto rip-off shorts, then I would be really, really grateful. <laughs> what do you mean, why? It's none of your business, Dalton! Number 97! In 2014, the US spent more than $580 billion on the military, a which is by money. far the highest in the money. world. But Lord alone. that's how we stay ahead of everyone else. Exactly, they've got the best military in the world, that's why. That's right, you've got to spend the money to get there, I guess. Who knows how much of that was on Velcro. <laughs> <laughs> Number 98. After the release of Top Gun in 1986, the US Navy saw a 500% increase in young men wanting to become naval aviators. Wow, that so makes thanks sense. Tom Cruise and Kenny Loggins. Good work, team. <laughs> Number 99. July the 4th is known as the most patriotic and American date ever as it's Independence Day. But the real Independence Day is actually on the 2nd of July, as this is the day that the meeting to approve independence in Britain actually happened. No, 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 no. Unlike what it says in all the movies, it's actually very rare that aliens attack and invade on the 4th of July. No, is it? One, I thought that was a bit of a cop out. I was going to say, a couple, there's been a couple sprinkled in there which don't really count, but he obviously wants to get to 101 because that's his series, which is awesome. There's been some good ones so far, though. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this last one is. One. The US National Anthem's melody was actually originally from a drinking song by the Anacreontic Society, a London-based gentleman's club in the 18th century. And its original lyrics were about drinking and sex. I have Crikey. heard that before. Try and find the original lyrics and sing those instead to spice up Independence Day a little bit. <laughs> that was 101 facts about the US of A. Did you enjoy that? That was good, yeah. I learned things I didn't even know. I was going to say, there were some fake ones, not fake ones, but cheap ones in there. There were some absolutely random ones which yeah. we never need to know in our life. And some very interesting ones. Yeah, and some we knew. But so, and then some we knew It's a good as well. mixture. Good mixture. Yeah. And he's throwing puns in there, left, right, and said, some are cringy, some are funny. Yeah. It's a good crack. Good, I liked it. But I think there's other ones of these like about America and stuff and different ones, mm -hmm. so we definitely should check them yeah. out as well. Let us know your favourite fact in there. Smash that like button, guys. What's your favourite fact in there? Mine definitely is just sitting on the tea, uh, sea turtles. That was a mad one. <laughs> um, mm, mm. Your mind's definitely gone blank, hasn't it? Because so much has My been thrown at you. My mind's whizzing around right now. The moon one. The moon one. But there's just five flags here, not six. Mm. I still can't go for the whole movie. <laughs> Let us know your favourite fact in the comments below, guys. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and make sure you have a fantastic day. Peace.